everyone. Welcome back, everyone. I'm extremely, extremely honored, happy, and humbled to have a wonderful guest in the studio. We've got Lisa Rogers, Rogers a style and design expert for Dunpar Homes, and she has uh, done an amazing job with my set already. No. I, I was saying before we were speaking to her, she's going to want to come in here and change everything, but welcome to the studio, Thank Lisa. Thank you very much. I'm very happy to be here. It's great. So you've brought a lot of things here, and now I'm looking yeah. at all these colors, and they're very earthy, and they're very natural. So yeah. let's talk about some of the trends in spring uh, well, style. Well, it's interesting because you and I were talking earlier about this, and it's mm. funny how I'm, I am cross in both worlds between fashion and interior design, but yep. they both have these really common themes, mm -hmm. and those themes of color and direction really reflect on each other, and, and they really have a lot of similarity yeah. in what's going on. And what I've noticed is we've gone through this last number of years of a very contemporary kind of look. Right. Very right. sleek, very contemporary, yeah. very cool, and very beautiful. Mm -hmm. You know, big stainless refrigerators and clean white counters but now that's all very much changing really? and it's a much more earthy eclectic kind of vibe it's right. sort of contemporary meets you know sort of this grounded nice warm rich kind of a palette right. with a lot of texture right you know and whether it's in woven baskets mm -hmm. or whether it's in sort of rusted kind of metals yeah. and bronze metals mm -hmm. and and uh, things like a refrigerator now comes in like a black matte steel or really? a gray, dark gray right. steel. So everything is changing and the palette is changing and getting much richer, as you can tell by just looking at the tones and colors of what everything is doing. I am. I'm looking doing. at that. It's a beautiful pattern, by the way, but yeah. that lantern is giving me a very... Um, Isn't that beautiful? Oh, it's beautiful. It's very rustic. It's yes. very like Little House on the Prairie That's meets right. a little bit of the modern... But you put that uh -huh. into a very beautiful contemporary dining room table yeah. and all of a sudden what happens is you know, it stands out mm -hmm. and it becomes an element in its own, which is one of the things I always try to tell people. Yeah. You know, they get everything out and then you don't see any one thing. Right. I always say, you know what, pull everything back, put it in your cupboard, and for everything you put out, you don't put anything else out until you exchange it. Right. And that way you give presence to each of those pieces mm. so you can really enjoy it. Right. You know? So less is more. Less like you don't is want best. clutter, yeah. Less is definitely best, right? right? So now you, we were talking earlier as well and you were a, f a former model and it's still That's a model right. and uh, and a stylist a fashion stylist That's right. and you were telling me how uh, fashion and home decor end up kind of intertwining they always do. and always. is that kind of the trend like the fashion it always that has see? been yeah. like that and then you see the same yeah. colors and the same styles coming in absolutely the, yeah, so and it, it's interesting now because actually I've just uh, did a, a recent show for City Line for Fashion Friday yes and it, the vibe you and I were laughing it's very uh -huh. 70s again you know uh, and it's <laughs> There's a lot of like, you know, it's got this bohemian vibe right, about right. it, which is really what's happening in interior uh -huh. design as well. Right. And the color palettes and the richness, it's all there. So, yeah, no, I think that um, when you're in that world, mm -hmm. I've never just been one thing. Right. I was never just a model or ever just, you know, into fashion and, and that. I was always into home decor as well Everything. because they cross yeah. over. Right, right. So I never, you know, I never said I, there was one thing I could do. I always tried everything. Yeah, absolutely. It was more fun that yeah, way. Yeah, you're good at a, a bunch of stuff. I love Why it. not do it all? I love so it. So talking about um, fashion, mm -hmm. and I've also seen the bell bottoms coming in, which oh. actually, strangely enough, I like bell bottoms for some reason. You know reason. what? <laughs> They're very flattering. They are. And you know what? <laughs> okay, just remember, right? So when you have wider around the leg wider yes, yes. okay actually what it does it's is slim. everything from them becomes slimmer right so your hips appear it's a visual thing your hips appear slimmer just because it it bells out at the bottom yep, yep. and if worn properly and mm -hmm. you have the right height of shoe right it can it they it's look beautiful. fantastic right oh no they look so great. now taking the 70s is that bringing wallpaper back let's oh. talk a little bit about that like because I know that the 70s were absolutely full of, yeah actually so, I've seen wallpaper it's been making a return for the last mm -hmm. few years but interestingly enough I remember as a kid my mother uh -huh. had grass cloth right and grass cloth is that very beautiful texture it almost looks a little bit like this but even more uh -huh. and you're I, I mean I'm a fan of grass cloth and you could walk into a beautiful bathroom or front hall mm -hmm. and it's it has a richness about mm -hmm. it and so yes absolutely wallpapers are coming back you know uh, good luck if you if you don't know how to hang it you're in big <laughs> trouble because right. it's got to be straight folks right <laughs> it's not an easy thing right. but I love the fact uh -huh. that you know, there's a more of an, a sort of a richness to right. the whole environment. It's yeah. great what's and happening. And you've done so much decor and design. We're going to yeah. look at a couple of your pictures here. Oh, and sure. You've done, I know that you yeah. do City Line regularly. You've done a lot of segments. Let's talk about this picture yeah, here. Yeah, beautiful bedroom. Yeah. Actually, this was nice. I love this because it was a lower 
almost sort of a, a Japanese inspired yes, bed that yes. sat very close to the floor. Mm -hmm. And so therefore all everything had to be proportionately working with that height of bed. Right. And I'd never worked with such a low bed before, but mm. I loved it. It had this really serene, beautiful kind of feel. And then I gave that centerpiece, that wonderful, I got that from the MoMA in New York, and that is uh -huh. a, a repro of an Andy Warhol, Marilyn Monroe oh, wow. uh, piece framed. This actually I did for Patricia Lovett Reed. It's oh, wow. a, a bedroom. It was in Canadian House and Home magazine, and it got rated sort of the top bedroom, which was really very Excellent. flattering. And I'm seeing all the colors that you brought into the studio That's right. as well. You've got all the mustards yeah. and the oranges. And look behind, actually, what really was interesting about this is on the wall behind I hung a, car a carpet. Oh, wow. So I you have the headboard, and then behind it, see the black lines? That's actually a beautiful Moroccan carpet on the wall which gave it great texture mm. and used it as a piece of art versus as a carpet I love that you just yes. totally you know think yeah. outside the box Absolutely. you don't have to follow rules and yeah. mixing textures and mixing fabrics mm. like this in oh, the this same nice. color tones yeah. but look at the organic beautiful mm -hmm. feeling about it I mean you just want to lie on that bed right, it, just, right. it calls you because it looks so rich right. and enveloping doesn't it's it? a little bit more masculine though yes, I would say but right? that's more, nice too just, yeah no but I like yeah. that but depending on your home and your environment and right. everybody loves different things this actually was a living room I did for Marilyn Dennis. Oh wow. And uh, she moved into a beautiful oh, beautiful so nice. home and uh, just you know it was a smaller space more formal and so we really made that center point that beautiful mm -hmm. it's almost like a bleached birch almost kind of a buffet but gave the height with those beautiful lamps I love those it lamps. looks like a large space the way I know you've kind of spaced yeah. it out but amazing. You know why that is of course yeah. Remember, when you use lighter colors, like mm. a white, right. it makes a space look bigger. Same in clothing. Right, right. If you want to make an area of your body look bigger, wear white. white or a lighter color. Yeah. If you want to make it look smaller wear or a, a room look smaller, Absolutely. you wear a darker color. Right. And if you wear a pattern, it looks really big. Right, okay, right. Depending on how large it is. So color is really interesting and how you work with it makes a huge difference. Right, right. Especially the color you paint the walls. Yeah, amazing. We're going to take a yeah. short break. Yeah. I could just do a whole show with this <laughs> lady. So we're going to take a short break. We're going to come back with lots of design advice Great. from Lisa Rogers. So stay tuned, guys. Lots more to come. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back, everyone. I'm here again with Lisa Rogers, uh, design and style expert for Dunpar Homes. Now, we were talking before the break about the new trends coming yeah. in. So let's kind of keep going on with that. We're going to see yeah. some pictures of um, kitchens and, and yeah. stuff like that. So let's talk about, um, you know, what's new in the kitchen scene. And, and, yeah, and yeah it's interesting. Yeah. I love that, actually. What I've really noticed in kitchens, too, that I love, um, again, looking oh, at this yes, picture, yes. is that eclectic mix in the cupboards. Right, right. What's happening now and you're finding is that you may have uh, cabinets around your stove that wrap around the walls that might be of a certain kind of wood, mm -hmm. but your island is another entirely different color. It, oh. And there's this mix, but it's very much in organic natural woods, oh, as I'm you can see. Yep. You see, there's the, the play of pattern between what I love, which is oh. concrete. Right. You're seeing a lot of concrete floors, concrete countertops. Mm -hmm. You're seeing a lot of natural woods. You look at the floor. You mix all those oh, beautiful elements together. and. You can have a more contemporary cabinet, as you see in this, but you add an old world style I was gonna with say, the table. I'm loving the way that you're kind of mixing, mixing you know, the best of the both worlds. That's, world. That's yeah. right, and adding richness with sizal carpets on the floor that again add another layer of richness and warmth to mm. any kind of space. Absolutely. That's half of the fun, you know. You right. end up with this like beautiful oh, oh, template. There we go. They're a beautiful oh, the example. Brick in the, inside the house, I love it. Yeah, those. yeah. I mean, just it's it's got almost sort of a very beautiful Moroccan influence yeah. in the chandelier which I loved lots of beautiful woods lots of richness and comfort mm -hmm. touches of turquoise and things like the water in the sea right. now again this is um, a, an area within Marilyn Dennis's house oh. sort of her sitting area kitchen area with cabinets 
And again, I'm seeing that mu mustard color. That and beautiful yeah. lemony mustard color that I did. And of course, plants are always, I always love when people oh, yes, put beautiful yes. plants yeah. back in their house mm -hmm. again. And here again, you'll notice the richness in the carpet, but very comfortable chairs. You've got the wicker kind of an ottoman and okay. that lovely table. And that's those are just branches very off nice. a willow tree in the really? back. Really? But they're they're just natural. It's oh. not as if it was whatever. Oh, look at you there. There I am. <laughs> that's in my, uh, my dining room in oh, my home. Yours? That's oh, right. Wow, they did a this. piece on me. So oh. that's beautiful. Actually, it's changed con significantly now since I did that because I oh. love changing things. Right. Yeah. So I have a new chandelier now. I have new pictures on right. the wall. Tables the same. Uh -huh. Chairs are different. But that's what's it's fun. It's the accessories. It's just the like the way you did here. You know, you that's just right. kind of add a pillow or add some centerpiece. Switching and it out. Switch it all up. That's right. So how about people? I know that it's expensive as well yeah. to always mm -hmm. redecorate. But for someone like yourself who's yeah. so experienced and you probably get bored very yeah. easily. But uh, how about the average person who maybe wants to make that big yeah. change? What are some of the tips you can give them well, that would be a little bit more economical rather than yeah. going and spending a lot of money? What are little you things you don't they can have do? to? I yeah. think there's a few things. One is things like throws and pillows and baskets and these things are mm -hmm. not expensive. Right, right. And there's lots of wonderful stores across Canada now that offer right. all kinds of different price points. Right. And just picking up a few things and changing the pillows mm -hmm. or changing the blanket or changing the duvet cover, that's a really easy thing small to do. Thing, yeah. And it's small and it's simple to do. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, that is, that is an, it's very interesting, paint on the wall. I was going to say, paint, paint goes a probably, long way. Right. You were talking about, you know, wallpapering. Right. Wallpapering, if you have a little powder room on your ground floor and you want to change it out, you could go in there and put beautiful wallpaper mm -hmm. and grass cloth or whatever you feel like. Changing a light, you know, changing a light fixture or there's so many simple things you can do right. to just shake it up a little bit and mm -hmm. change it. And I always say to people, the first thing you want to do when we're talking about this, take everything away. Right. All of the chuchkas, all of the stuff, mm -hmm. all of the clutter, everything, take it away yeah. and put it in the cupboard. And start with a clean palette again. Uh -huh. And then go from there. Just introduce things slowly. Mm -hmm. And make it so that it is more of, in fact, I'm doing a piece coming up on coffee tables. Okay. And how the coffee table is really like your dining room table. It sort of grounds the center of right. your living room. It is the focal point. Right. And how do you dress a coffee table? Mm -hmm. It's not just to put your coffee cup on, right. but it's actually an opportunity to show certain things in a very well edited way. Right, right. And what is really special about certain houses, and you may not realize it when you're looking, is it it's so well edited. Mm -hmm. So that there's not a lot, but what there is, is beautiful. Wonderful. So it's about pulling yeah. back and not feeling you have to put everything yeah. you own out. Yeah, sometimes, you know, it's too much then. It is, and I say and to some people, you know what, for everything you put out, mm -hmm. take something away. Right. And make sure that you don't over clutter because mm -hmm. then you don't see anything. Yeah. Unless it's one little cabinet and you have one little thing that you collect and you put it all in the cabinet. Yeah. Right? Well, I, I definitely urge everyone to kind of check out your articles and stuff because oh, you know what, a lot of the so times, um, it's very overwhelming and people are, yes. like, they like to play it safe, you know, they, yeah, maybe they'll they just go know. with the neutral. What about colors and stuff? Oh. Like, how do you, how do you kind of push someone to take that risk? Yeah. I know, you know, people like to kind of stay very neutral and safe, but what are some of well, the... Well, it is. And, yeah. and I think what you want to do is you want to identify first for you, what are your colors you love yeah. that feel comfortable to you, right? Mm -hmm. I mean... In, depending on the space you're in as well. For me, I mean, I love a warm white on the walls in a home because it frankly makes it appear bigger. Mm -hmm. Now, if you're trying to make a room look smaller, smaller, that's when, again, again, we talked about going with a darker color. But no, I don't think you should be frightened of color. I think like companies like Benjamin Moore that I'm a huge fan mm. of, um, you know, they have such an incredible palette of colors. And, you know, they'll give you samples. You can take them home. Depends very much, too, on which way the light is entering your home. Right, right. Whether you have a southerly exposure, a northerly exposure. Wow. Because it affects the color in the room. Mm. So you need to try a few on the wall, live with them for a little bit, mm. maybe put three or four samples, and see what really feels good to you. Right. Or if you see a picture in a magazine, Canadian House and Home magazine, fabulous magazine, right. you can go online, you see something you love, take it out, put it on the wall, look at it for a while. If you still love it mm -hmm. in a month right. and it still calls to you, then maybe follow that road for a yeah. while. And take a little bit of a 
more risk, I yeah, think. Yeah, you know? outside of what you dress, <laughs> right? But in paint is wonderful, yeah. and you can change it. You can right. just try one wall with a color and see if it works. Exactly. And and then you go from there. Excellent. Yeah, excellent. have fun. And it's yeah, supposed to be fun. Absolutely. Yeah. I'm going to bring you back to do a fashion segment Oh, I'd as love well. to. And I'd you guys can to. catch her on City Line for Fashion oh. Fridays. Yeah, and, uh, that's right. Yeah, that's going to be coming that's up. Right. So thank you, Lisa. This was oh. such a pleasure to you have know you what? in the studio. Thank you for having me. No, I no, really thank enjoyed you so it. Much. It was I lovely. I appreciate it. Lovely. And uh, you guys check it out and go find out her uh, information online and, you know, follow yeah. up with this lady. Whatever. I'm around. I'm always around. Great. Thank you. We'll be back a lot more. Thank you.